What's going on YouTube? This is Brendan coming at you again with another very special video for my subscribers who have been with me since the start of this channel. And remember in my videos I've frequently said keep liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel so I can uh, bring more great stuff to you. Well, I've got some great stuff here for you today and some great stuff you can take home. I'm selling my TBS Discovery Pro with my DX8 and my uh, great Pelican case here that I've been using to carry around the... Uh, Discovery, and I thought I might uh, first offer it to you guys, my loyal YouTube audience, because you've helped me with so many builds, you know, you've helped me get my information out there to people that need it, that want to get into FPV, and this is a great quad for somebody who's transitioning from your basic FPV setup, maybe your 5.8 and 2.4 setup, somebody who really wants to push for that long range and that proximity flying but still have it in a nice, containable package that's easy to get around and kind of easy to deal with for your uh, you know, weekend pilots. There's a lot of great custom equipment that I've developed on here to make it very, very easy to get a really, really great flying experience for you guys. So why don't I just show you what I'm talking about here. So starting with our power system here, we've got four Tiger Motor, MT2216-11 900 kV motors. Now these are great motors. The TBS motors that Team Black Sheep makes are actually designed off of these. These motors are so great in their performance and their reliability that even Team Black Sheep started their careers using these motors. I've had these in two countries. They perform amazing. For power also we've got the RC Manchild 30 amp Simon K ESCs. Now that's the fastest response rate firmware you can get on these ESCs. So it gives you a great locked in, very stable feeling while you're flying. Now of course, because you're going to be pushing for that long range, we've got our Immersion RC 433 megahertz long range control system. And now this has got diversity control, which is awesome. So if the signal in any one of these antennas drops out, just like your Spectrum or your Futaba might have, it will automatically switch to the other antenna and you won't even notice it. Many, many times a second it can hop back and forth, so it gives you great control, great reliability, locked in feel, even if you're going for those multiple mile long range flights. Now another way that I'm going to assist you guys with going long range and making it easy is I've got a 1500 milliwatt 1.3 gigahertz transmitter right here. Now it's very, very powerful. 1500 milliwatts is almost twice the power that most people use for a quad this size. But I've done a couple of things to make it a lot easier for you. So the first thing I've done is we're using the Cloverleaf antennas from IB Crazy with a integrated impedance matching transformer. So that helps you uh, filter out any other trans transmissions or any other noise that could be coming off of the VTX and it also helps match the antenna's impedance more closely to the VTX no matter what VTX you're using. I've also gone to great lengths to uh, shield and insert the saw filter mod in my Nasa Light GPS. So you can see another video about it right here where I installed the mod and I've also got the power to that GPS filtered by a little ferrite choke here and that means that you get almost immediate GPS lock. GPS lock holds consistently no matter what kind of environment you're in and it, it maintains great GPS lock even with this huge 1.3 transmitter and its low pass filter right here that'll help keep the GPS even more stable. Now for our, the rest of our FPV gear we're running the Easy OSD Mark III, which is awesome. It shows you airspeed, altitude, distance from home, course, milliamp hour consumption, and voltage, which is really all you need for a quad this size. And for data logging, especially with all of those FPV, uh, FPV regulations that are coming in from the FAA, we've got our Flytrex Core here. So you can use Flytrex Core not only to keep yourself out of trouble and to prove that you weren't flying irresponsibly, but you can use it to make great virtual OSDs just like I did in this video here with a program called Dashware. Now moving toward the front we've got some very very innovative stuff on here. 
We're using the standard power system that uh, TBS kind of pioneered with the Tiger Motor MT2211. It's 900 kV motors and the Grobner 10x5 props. Here in the front, we've got our uh, Sony Wide Dynamic Range board camera. Now, the Wide Dynamic Range is really important for an FPV pilot because if you fly into the shade, if you fly under a cloud or whatever, it'll automatically compensate for that lack of light and it'll bring the color and the contrast right up to where it was you know before you flew under the uh, lower light condition so it'll automatically compensate it looks the color looks beautiful and you'll never know that it's compensating because it'll do it so quickly and this little camera has the ability because it's switching that quickly to save your quad in case you fly it into the sun because as soon as you fly it out immediately color in the picture will come back and it'll automatically adjust, everything looks awesome. I've flown at night with this camera before, and it's amazing. Now my real secret to proximity FPV, how I can do some of the ridiculous stuff that you saw in some of my proximity videos, getting really close to trees and such, is this lens right here. This is an ultra wide angle lens, and it allows me to look over and see the spinning prop tip on the quad as I'm flying, which is great. So I know as long as I'm not getting a tree branch up into that arc, totally okay. Now in the front here we've got our GoPro Hero 3 camera that I'm also selling with the quad that charges off of the uh, integrated GoPro link board that will also bring the video out to the video transmitter. And we've got our OSD hooked up to the camera. The GoPro has its own OSD hooked up as well so it gets the, gets the numbers out of your way when you're trying to do some great film work. Now I'm sure you're wondering, what on earth is all this white stuff? Well this is, in the front and the rear, one of my great innovations that I set up for this quad. And I like this one a lot because this is an 80 watt LED kit. Now you must be, you must think I'm crazy, you must think I'm joking, but let me fire it up for you. Alright guys, so let's say you're flying along at night, maybe you see some full scale traffic somewhere in the area, Maybe it's getting a little too dark out to see with your FPV camera. You want to light the sky up a little bit. That's why you flick over to the AUX2 switch on the DX8 and you turn on your 80 watt light kit. And this thing is absurdly bright. Let me point that at the camera so you can kind of get a good look at how incredibly bright that is. And you can flick that off also right from the radio. Now the lights only draw about four and a half amps when they're running here at full capacity, but they're incredibly, incredibly bright, and they can really, really light up the night, as you can see in this video right here where I've been flying at night with a prototype of that system. So whether you guys are seasoned FPV pilots that just don't want to spend the time and effort building such a complex custom system, or whether you're Intermediate FPV pilots just getting ready to take that next step up into long range proximity type flying. This is a great system for you. I've flight tested this system for over 50 flight miles, as you can see in my Flytrex profile for this quad right here. And it really offers the best of both worlds when it comes to a multi rotor. You've got the small form factor of a proximity type quad with the gimbal here in the front but you've got the long range systems that I've custom filtered for you guys to push out multiple miles I've had this at least two miles out on one of the included 5,000 milliamp hour batteries the 5800 I haven't even been able to get to the end of it because I get too nervous when I get out there you know nearing uh, nearing 5,000 milliamps I try to come back home but let's see how far you guys can push it. I'm excited to see where uh, you and my YouTube community can take it. The included long range transmitter and filtration for the DX8 give you great control over all of the features. And the included GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition with 16 gigabyte SD card can give you hours and hours of excellent filming. Now, if you guys order it or buy it within the next two weeks, so 14 days, I'll throw in two sets of 10 by 3.8 carbon fiber props from RC Timer. Now these are great. They're a lot higher efficiency, 
but they do produce a few vibrations and they're difficult to properly balance. So they're not the best for aerial video, but man, can they push you out to some of those incredibly long ranges. Also, I will include a set of Grobner 9x5 props. Now these are a $31 value just for four of these props. And the 9x5s are really designed for agility type flying. So if you like flying proximity, slap the 9x5s on and go kind of tree carving. And if you want to fly long range, use the 10x5s or the 10x3.8s. Now keep in mind, all of this stuff does come with this great Pelican style case for carrying and transport. It's totally waterproof. This thing has been all over the place with me and has treated me awesome. And wait, and just wait, if you guys order in the next seven days, if you guys pick this up within the next week, I'll even throw in this. This is an experimental three and a half farad ballast capacitor that you can plug into your lipo before you plug it into the quad to give you a little bit more burst C rating and a little bit more throttle punch as you're flying the quad around. So any questions, feel free to write a comment, subscribe, write me a PM. The uh, list price for this quad as you see it with uh, the included extra props if you order in the next two weeks, the included ballast capacitor pack if you order in the next seven days that will come with the props. The three batteries, the two 5000s and the 5800, the quad as you see it with all the long range hardware installed, the GoPro Hero 3, the DX8 long range transmitter and Pelican case is going for $5,000 US and uh, we can figure out depending on where you are how, we're, how I can get it to you, how I can ship it to you or if you're in the Chicagoland area, I'd gladly just drive it right out to you and test fly it with you. Alright guys, so if you have any questions, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and for the lucky winner, I will post a private link to a video where I walk you through exactly how to operate it, and, you know, how to take off, how to fly around, and really how to get used to the quad as you start learning to fly and do some of that long range stuff, alright? So enjoy, and I'll see you in the skies, guys.